Why they are dancing there? Okay, we'll start here. Okay, from today onwards, we'll do the two classes. Here. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Sir, yeah, I have a Tell doubt me. in the test, sir. Which which problem? A ninth problem, sir. Ninth problem. Okay, how many of? Okay. See, we are not going to discuss. Uh, see, we are not going to discuss that test test paper today. Okay, from let's finish uh, functions first. Once that chapter is finished, we can have the discussion of test. Okay, and how? Why you guys are not submitting the assignment? I have uh, dropped one assignment. I have given one assignment to Bhaskar. He must have given a few details, right? Why you guys are not doing it? What is wrong with it? Hmm? See, math, mathematics or any subject is not just about taking a glance. If you are doing that, you are in a big trouble already. So take take it seriously, yaar. What happened? Why you have haven't submitted the assignment? I have told. I have given one day or two days to submit. Right? It's a thirty minute uh, assignment. Why you haven't done it, Hari? 
open your button. You have done it. How many of you have finished it? How many of you have attempted it? Are you good? Everybody has got some good. I got stomach. I got headache. All right, sunshine. What about you? For me, app problem, sir. Why you are looking at the sky, man? It's a photo, sir. Okay. Anyway, we'll start. We'll start. Uh, How many of you have attempted the assignment? Sunshine, have you attempted the assignment? Yes, sir. I have attempted it, sir. Okay, can I? Okay. How can I? Yes, sir. See, uh, tomorrow I want that assignment. I don't know how you are going to do it, but I want it tomorrow. Is if you there, are not yes, submitting sorry. it before class, listen. If you guys are not submitting it before class, no class tomorrow. Because sir, there is no point, right? Uh, uh, studying like that, there is no point. See, once you do the assignment, then only you will realize what we are missing. Okay, what, what you haven't understood. See, uh, the thing is, we are trying to cover each and every point in the class, but there could be problems which are a little bit different. Okay, the, that pattern we may not have studied in class. There, there it will be clarified. So that's the whole point. If you just want to take CBSC exam, okay, you don't need a coaching class. At the place. You just need to go through the NCRT. Okay, I'll be very bluntly honest with you guys. Okay. Now share it. No problem. I'm not going to scold anyone. Anyway, so please submit your assignment. Please do the assignment. So shall we just open everyone? Take it off. Yeah. Which school you are from? You, you don't. You, it, it doesn't have a name, high school. The name is high school. Huh? Okay. DAV. So we have three, four DAV girls, right? Five. You are also from DAV. I thought you are biology. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so what is one, one function? Here, let's have a quick revision of it. What is one, one function? Anyone? Yeah, what is one one function? Louder. One ele element at set three, right? So please tell me whether it is a one one function or not. So we have A, B, a function I'm defining from A to B. Let's say we have four elements here and some elements here. So is it a one one function or not? Tell me, is it a uh, sunshine? Is it one one function? Is this one one function or not? Right? It is a one one function. Why? Right? Because all the elements in set A, one element in set B. Okay. So that, that's how we will define it. Don't, don't start writing, don't worry. We will do that, okay? You, uh, you haven't set it set yet, right? Set. But you have some idea of set, right? You, uh, you have studied in school. So that means you have already finished functions also, right? Inshallah, so Our biology finished, no functions? Are your school started? Okay, started, finally. Okay. So this is one, one function, all right? Now uh, we had one more, Another function that is many one function, right? Isn't it? What? 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 Yes. Go on. See, there can be uh, elements in set B which do not have any pre-image. What is pre-image? That means, see, suppose this point, this, 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 these are the, these are the four elements that do not have any pre-image, right? See, these points are called images on which the function is linked. Okay, I'm telling you because they already know. Hopefully. Right? Huh? I'm not hearing anything. 
forgot everything in one way yes she is saying yes so your yes is uh, uh, like this and the no is also like that something you have to do like this no is your audience only so uh, and all the elements from this set p which has any relation with this set a okay that is called pre image okay so there is a slight difference between relation and function that all functions are relation but all relations are not function so function is a subset of good morning that that's what you are doing no right okay so next is many one function many so this is not many i suppose many function many one function can anyone define many one function fast fast we have to go multiple elements in set okay okay fine all right so one one function is also called injective function right that's what we have studied the one one function is also called injective function simply like that I'll just write here. Many one function. Okay, so we have two sets again, A and B. These egg, eggs represent your set. Okay, and whatever we are representing inside it, these are the elements of set A and B. We can write E and G to X, Y. It doesn't matter. Okay. So the, the how do we write function in set builder form? Okay, Lipovac set builder. What is the representation of function? How do we represent the function? F of F such that a to b, right? That's how we represent the function. A is what? What is a? Gushal Babu? Ah? No laughing. No laughing. Uh, what is there? What is there, Hari? Domain. A is your domain, and B is what? Don't do these things. You know, I'll have to jump from here. <laughs> it's it's high. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. A is your domain and B is your co-domain. All right. See, for a relation, uh, can anyone differentiate between relation and function? The domain of relation and function, not domain. Set A of relation and function. Can anyone define? What is the difference between the set A? Means this, this, this part. This part. What's the difference between relation and function? Yeah. We have studied this, right? Goshal, we have studied that. We have studied. You tell me this time. You are telling. Yeah. No. Good. What? What? What is this? You mean? Come on, yar. What happened? Biology. It will have an image in set B, right? Okay. Correct. I, from next why i should drink some acid or something you know something to drink to chill out some booze huh no now what you are noting now okay so the difference between relation and a function is like this set a it can have other elements which may not be related in set b okay like uh, if i take some examples so if i put one more dot here see this element this red wall i left this red element is not related with any of the element in set b that means this red element do not has any image in set b so this will be a relation this will only be a relation it will not be a function for this to be a function this uh, this must have an image here 
Okay, got it. Goshal, that means what? For a function, set A is always the domain. For a function, set A is always the domain. Okay, and when we are defining a relation, if let's let's write like this, we can write actually like this. Okay, when we are set A may not be, may not be, may not be what domain. Means that domain domain will be subset of A. Okay, so let's write domain will be subset of A. Yeah, exactly. All elements. See, that's the meaning. No? The domain will be a subset of A. That means I already explained it. I don't have to explain it again. All right. Okay. Where's the next page? Okay, it's there. Nice. So this this uh, hopefully you got the difference between relation and function. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So if we say this is a relation, this is this set represent your relation R. Okay. Usually I represent it by R dash because most of the time R will be using for real number. Okay, that, that's the reason. You can write anything. It's up to you. You can write X, L, B, E, whatever you want. But in that case, you have to define that this is the relation. Whatever you are writing, whatever symbol you are using, that is for relation. All right. Now, this R dash, suppose there are some elements like uh, these are the, what is this? What are the elements of this R dash? I never asked this before. What are the elements? Of R dash form. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Anyone, sunshine? What is the elements? These are the elements that you can see inside, right? What Sir. are these? Yeah. Suppose I'm defining a relation from A to B. Okay. What? Yes. These are partition terms. All right. Yes, I think. Very good. Nice. I was, you know, hopeless that nobody is going to say this, but finally this guy. Awesome. So this will be your function. Okay. So here you can see function is a subset of relation. All right. This is clear to you. Okay. I'm revising a little bit. So don't get offended. <clears throat> now many one function. Who will explain many one function? Quick, quick, fast. Okay, the what is the what is the condition? I'm asking you, what is the condition for a relationship to be a function? Oh. We have discussed this in class, right? Yes or no? No. What is the condition for a relation to be a function? Wait, wait. I know you have started. Keep calm. Otherwise, no. it should have one free image. An image can have one free image. Is she correct? No, not really, just, 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 just a function. See, when we are saying function, that means uh, everyone will get covered. One, one function, many, one function, on two function. Okay, one, one, on two function. All these four types of function will get covered when we are saying function. Means one, one function is obviously a subset of what function and that is a subset of relation. All right. Now, when we are discussing that, uh, just a function. Okay, just a function. So we have discussed what is the condition that a function uh, that a relation will be a function is the same condition but how you will represent it like. so we have seen the representation here right you said that correct means all all the elements of set b okay they must have only one free image okay free image means what this is like uh, if this is a and this is one and we are relating like this so this is a function you are defining from A to B. So you see that one is a pre-image of A. Okay. So all the elements of set B must have one and only one pre-image. Write it down. 
we have you have already written it show me your notebook sunshine is it clear how many of you are online let me check once only this guy i can see okay uh varshini is there dav is there and okay sunshine is there all right people those uh, those who are online you are getting it right yes sir yes or no yes, sir okay got it for a function what what i said what i just said okay and see what is pre image what is image see so all the uh, all the elements in set a okay which is related in set b okay so the elements of set b is called image right that is the range right and the elements from uh, if you define a function or you don't have to define all the elements that are related in uh, this set b is called image and the set a will be called pre image of that image okay is that correct or not okay just write it down what you going to write can anyone repeat see this is your code domain why i am saying a and b all the time because i have written here a and b this is your code domain the entire set b is code domain Okay, write it down. Now, or now everyone write your own statement and read one. Let's see how do you write. Understanding is more important than solving a thousand of problems. everyone write down what is the condition for can anyone read from previous class that what, what is the condition of this louder sir b right what is set b that's the code domain okay and please don't say i haven't told you before because this entire b is your code domain in relation as well as in function okay here a will be domain for function and for relation it may not be okay write down oh, 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 oh. See, usually, what have we have discussed in previous class also that function is first you write down the statement. Everyone done? Done. Okay. So, what is many one function? the first thing is it has to be a function right because we are saying many one function that means it it means all the elements in the set a that is the domain must be must have an image in b okay more than one image one more, more than one image it should have like okay is this what happened what just happened okay eraser have sorry my fault is this correct is this correct ha huh? is it a function or not how many of you are saying this is a function raise your hand biology you like partial function Ah, uh, biology is is this a function or not? What's the definition you just wrote? 
read read your statement every what is the definition of it? image can have only one pre image right see see uh, see from set a to b with this element like 1 to a we are defining it right so one is your pre image and a is your image okay that's why it is called pre image so is this a function or not Oh. Bastard, call someone for the basket. Huh? Tell me, okay, it's, it takes time. Uh, so, is you know what I have drawn? Wait, people, those who are online, is this a function or not? Huh? Are to on where? Where is the remote? Now it is. So, is this a function or not? Tell me fast. Why not a function? Wait, why a function? Many one function. It's not. Okay, okay, explain. For, for it to be a function, we have discussed this also. It should have only one image. Sorry, oh, sorry. Uh, but, but, what? What? Why? Why does it have? It's not uh, it should not have the same pre images. What? See, A and suppose if I'm writing this B, okay? A and B both not B C. Let's write C. So A and C both have same pre image. Okay? Can you see this? A and C both have same pre image. So it will not be a function. What? Is this a many one function? Who, who, are saying, who is saying many one function? See, many one function when uh, see one or more element will be related to same uh, pre, uh, same image. See, this, this part is the image. This part is the image. So, pre image, uh, this for, for one image, there cannot be same pre image. Okay, it cannot have same pre image, but it can have same image. Okay, turn, turn pages, turn all the pages. Got it? I think we have discussed this last time. Yeah. When, when we discuss this real, real function, it is real variables, that time it will be. Uh, hopefully that time it will be more clear. Yeah. What is the definition that you Thank you. 
Can you just skip that? See, yours is correct, biology. What you have written is correct, means that, uh, what, what is it, all the elements of set B, set A, right, should have one image in set B, okay? And for a relation to be a function, this in this set A, okay, this set A, means there cannot be two, like A and C has two, uh, same three images, right? So it is not possible for a relation to be a function. Write down this condition. Many one. See, many one function is for we will discuss many. This is not many one function, by the way. Let me erase this. The top one. Okay, this is just a function. Oh, sorry, it is it is not a function. Why I'm saying that like that, I don't know. Not a function. Not a function. Okay, this is not a function because it has means uh, the pre-images have same image. Pre write down pre-image. What? The pre these are the pre images. No, this is pre image. Oh, sorry. Why? What happened to image? Cannot have same pre image. Right? Oh, sorry. Pre this is pre image, right? So, so here A and C both have same pre image. Image cannot have same pre image. All right. And image is what? All the set of your four domains. Okay. Okay. And what is your uh, pre image? That is the domain. Means the elements in co domain cannot have same element in domain. Okay. Got it? So this, the, so that condition, if that is the situation, then, then only it will be a function. Okay. It's, all right, now let's see many one function. We got a condition for a layer to be a function. Okay, we'll write it again. And first let's write many one function. Is this thing clear or uh, do, you, do we have doubts? Do we still have doubts? No, right? Uh, what one image will have? One image will have one pre image that is your one one function. Yeah, so that is one one order, no? Oh, so sorry. Why I'm saying this is image all the every time? What is happening? So all the sets of domain will have only one one element in co-domain. Okay, that is called range. That is the image. Okay, that is called one one function. All right, and one one function and no no no. We'll see now. Let's let's see. Okay. So many one function. Okay, many one function or many to one function. Let's see this. Maybe I had made some mistake last time. There, 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 there might be a chance. Let's see it properly. So I'm defining the function from A to B again. So there are some elements, let's say one, two, three, four, and A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's say these are the elements. So B, means all the elements, B, A, B, C, A to G, these are called four domains. Okay, this is co domain and this is domain. All the elements of set A must be related to set B. Then only it will be a function. So that is one of the conditions. I should say like that. That is one of the conditions. See, like they, we have two or three conditions. Even if one condition is not satisfied, then it will not be a function. Okay. All right. 
So what what will happen to many one function? In many one function, what what is many one function biology? Yeah, same element. Like, see, first thing is it it has to be a function that is one, two, three, four must be related to set B. Okay, must be related to all the elements of set B. So let's do that. Okay, so it is one is related to let's say A, two is related to D, three also related to D, and four is related to let's say D. So this is this is what now see here all the elements of set A that is the domain has one image. It has one image, right? And see, two and three have same image. That is D. So this is called many one function. Okay. Understood. What is same thing? What? So there is many one function. Yeah. Uh, I I definitely I can be confused. It's it's not a big deal. Uh, I have made it a lot of times, so you can correct me at that point. And that image pre image, so just now you saw the demo what I was doing. So it's it's so this is called this is an example of many one function. All right, can anyone represent many one? Also, many one function is called what type of function? Bijective. Yeah. Yeah. Two two comma uh, D. It is related with D, right? Two comma D. This will be yeah. Two comma D and three comma D. Yeah. So this will be a uh, many one. This is the same. So it's not just the one of two has this. Here, in that it is given that it is given two two and two four. It's because of this it is not a function. See, the domain two and two it is related with uh, the co-domain two and four. That's why it is not a function. Yeah, it can be four comma two. Okay, so uh, so your doubt is clear. So that that that's what it was written there, right? So this is called many one function. And uh, uh, the next one that we are going to discuss is onto function. I think we haven't discussed onto function before. This this still many one function we had discussed before, and I think I had made some mistakes. I'm really sorry about that. So that's why you guys are having a little bit of confusion. So number three uh, three is onto function, not one onto. Or uh, onto function. Now, what is onto function? Can anyone do? Have we discussed this? No. A. Now, see, there are some elements in set A. Let's say one, two, three. These are the elements in set A, and these are the elements in set B. All right. So, what is the condition that it will be a? Is this onto function? Wait, let her answer. It's because see here, a codomain is range. It's not even a function, right? Why? The pre-image, uh, see. Uh, 
one in a image can have only one pre image right that's what we have learned right so that this is not not even a function not a function not a function okay so on to function so if you are defining a function f it's from a to b from set b to b and we have some elements okay so is this on to like wait, wait is this on to function then what is this uh -huh. what 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 type of function is this am, am i asking you guys your turn will come what type of function into function what is into function so we have discussed into function have we discussed what into function then how come you are saying into function okay wait online nobody is answering dev yes sir why dev yes sir yes yeah what type of function is this so onto function yeah tell me sir it's one to one ha huh? one to one there is sir, no audio right sir. Not not able to hear anyone. Something is wrong with the device or what? Sunshine, what type of function is this? Sir, am I audible? Yeah, you you are audible, but I think there is a problem in this uh, tablet. Yeah, uh, Sunshine. One on one, sir. Sorry, one to uh, one, sir. Yes, yeah, one one function, right? One to one or one one functions. So this is example of one one function. One one function is also called. what injecting okay so let's see what is on to function good a to b let's define the function is what was that something ninja thodi or something something is going on so is what what type of function is this on to function so i have not said the definition he has mentioned all the definition i haven't said any so what type of function is this till now till now what I, what we have studied according to that it is till now we have studied one one function so this this is obviously a one one function okay but wait 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 don't mind let me finish let me finish okay so this is the as of now we have studied one one function now on to function it should all the pre image no sorry all the images must have all the all the images at least one pre image yeah it can have only one thing. that's the definition of function yes so you are getting the confusion first tell me your confusion then we'll uh, image can one by one yes. what you are saying image can have only one that's what she said right is she is incorrect now now what you are saying no 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 why you you guys are getting confused and confusing me also see the first thing is yeah yeah what See, many one function what we have discussed. See, just now, just now what we discussed. For a many one function, see, first thing is first, first it need to be a function. For a, uh, the condition is that all all the elements of set A must be related to set B. Okay, and uh, that too with 
it, it can have uh, means that uh, that image should have two two what two pre images right no 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 one see one pre uh, one image uh, should have one or at least one pre image should have two yeah two pre images or more than that it can have more than that all right so that will be your main one function okay now what is uh, now what you just said now what you said so image can have only ah that is that's what is called one one uh, onto function okay write the definition write down the definition see functions have different types right? see one thing is it, it will be fixed that set a that is domain it will have only one uh, one image okay uh, sorry all all the the uh, this domain that is pre image right so pre image will have on, only one what means the image will be uh, only one it will stick to only one okay then the function is defined all right now write down this one right up when the range when the range of a function is equal to its codomain then the function is called onto function range is equal to codomain see these are all, these this this is all is what codomain so that means all the uh, pre image it should have at least means it should have a image okay it it cannot be like some element is left here it cannot be like that then it will not be a onto function got it this all the pre image should have and so uh, all the image will have an it will have a pre image okay still i have that thing right image and pre image uh, that's why i i will not mention image and pre anyway and this uh, onto function is also called subjective function right now this is also called subjective function it's code domain why see see so, uh, here what is your domain dot 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 but what is your code domain 1 2 3 4 elements write down elements all the elements of code domain should be equal to all the elements of range now tell me now tell me is this onto function or not this is a question for you guys okay is this onto function or not is it on to function or not see it properly then then answer okay i will let me write for is this uh sorry on to right yeah anyone um, those who are online dev yes sir yeah is this on to function or not um yes sir i think it is sir sunshine sir is this on to function or not sir uh, raindrops varshini yes sir yes, is sir. this on to function or not 
Yes, sir. Why? See, just now we have what we have defined. See, from A to B, if we are defining function from A to B, see, or uh, here we see it's a function. First thing, all oh, see, all all the sets of A have an image in B here. The second one. That means it's a function. All right. Now, here range is equal to codomain, so it is onto function. Onto function. Huh? Yes, it is. It is making one as So when you have something like this, it will be a. It is called onto function. All right. Okay. Let's see the last one. That is one one onto. One one and on to. Yes. Now who can define this? That means simply the function must be one one and on to. Its range is equal to, and all the elements should be must have a. So it's very simple, right? A to B, like one two three four A B C D. So this is your onto function. Okay, like this. This is also one one onto function. This is also example of one one onto function. This is also example of one one onto function. If a function is one one onto, that means it is a one one function and it is also onto function. Okay, so the function must be one one as well as onto. So here also domain, uh, sorry, codomain or let's write range. Elements should be equal to codomain. This elements of codomain. Just write down. See one. First thing is uh, in set A. That means all the pre images are having one image, and all the all one images are having only one pre image. Okay. That means one element is related to one. Uh, This is uh, one element from set A. This domain is related to one element in codomain, or and that is also your range. Okay, so that type of function is called one one onto function. That means this is also one one function and onto function. If you have an example like this, that means it is both one one as well as onto. Okay, uh, hopefully all four types of functions are clear to us. Not to me, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I am here. Okay, we have also seen some of the graphs. Okay, now let's, huh? Into function. What is into function? What is into? What is into function? Range is a subset of codomain. <clears throat> Many one also range is a subset of codomain. One one also range is a subset of codomain. For a function, always range is a subset of codomain. Now tell me. Okay. Yeah, diff. Tell me what is into function. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, I don't want to discuss it here right now into function, but if you guys want, we can discuss. It. Yeah, tell me what 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 is into function? You were saying something, right? You said who said? You are saying into function. Okay, let's let's as of now let's skip into function because I am also a little bit confused about into function. Okay, so maybe in next class or tomorrow if we can discuss into function. It has to be very clear. Otherwise, you saw what type of mistakes we were doing, right? Image, pre-image, pre-image, image. Means pre pre I was doing mistakes mostly, not you guys. So I don't want to get confused anymore as of now. So let me get uh, thorough with the into function, then I will explain it. All right. Most probably into functions. Let's see.
mm -hmm. signal function. So these are those are real valued function. We will study now. Okay, uh, constant functions, linear functions, quadratic functions, all type of functions we are going to study now. Okay, uh, for these four functions are clear to all of you guys. Yes or no? Uh, people, those who are online. One two. Sir. Yeah. See, first is one one function that we have studied. Second is many one function. One one is also called injective function. Many one function. Then what we studied? On two function that is also called subjective function. And one one. One one on two function that is also called bi bijective function. Okay. Let's write down here. This is also called bijective function. Or bijection also you guys. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. Got it? Now let's study a little bit about real value function. Okay. So, so how do we uh, write a function? We have discussed in previous class. What is this? Okay. So if we, we write a function like this, f of x is equal to, suppose y is equal to f of x. That's how we represent a function in x in terms of x and y. That is in our x, y plane. Okay. Real plane. That's what we call a real plane. You must have seen this thing, right? x and y. x, y. This, uh, this is number line, horizontal number line, and this is the vertical. That. And this plane is called your xy plane. Right? xy plane. So, whatever functions that we can represent on xy plane are called real value functions. Okay? So, uh, yeah, the representation of function will be f. And if I'm writing r, first let's write that we have what we have studied a to b. Okay? That's what we have studied so far, right? So, what is a here? What is A? What is A? Why? Yes. Miss all all this uh, this set A. Okay. For uh, for, that's one of the one of the conditions. Actually, I should have told you before. That is one of the conditions that all the elements of set A. That means the do all the elements of set A must be related to set B. A that then A is called your domain, right? For relation also, this is domain, but all for a function, all the elements in this set must be related to its codomain. Okay, so this is your domain, and this is your codomain, right down. And for a real valued function, we'll also represent it like similar uh, similar to this. Okay, so if I'm writing x, this is that uh, f f of x okay and f of x is your what function right okay let's not write like this this is a particular type of function so let me write like this y okay now x is what your domain and y is what codomain right y is all codomain so if let me plot a graph here we'll understand from a graph y and x okay so suppose suppose we have some function like this we don't know what type of function this is so this is called f of x let's say f of function y is equal to f of x now here i'm just taking uh, one example we'll we'll see all the examples so here you see the value of x it will vary from this minus infinity to plus infinity okay all the real values of x it is Right, all the real values of x. Now, don't see the vertical axis. Just see the horizontal. Uh, it is going from here to here, right? Means all the values it is. So, how do we write the domain? This is this belongs to all real numbers. So, f such that r r is your what domain? Okay, and yeah, yeah. This, this real number is the domain, no? Domain means all set of real numbers. Real number is what? 
one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus one point zero one. All numbers that you can write are real numbers. Okay, all numbers that can be represented on a number line is called a real number. Okay, so this when we are writing R here, that means all the value, all the set of values of set A. Okay, this set, the domain. That means domain is all real numbers. And here, now if you see the vertical axis, now forget about this. How it is very in y direction. Now, okay, this is y direction also. Okay, this is from A to B. Okay, this is from A to B. 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 This is from So the uh, range is also belongs to what all set of real numbers. Is this clear or not? How many of you have doubt in this? See this this R when I'm writing this is for this real number is for vertical axis this axis because vertical axis will have all the numbers from no? zero one two three four minus one minus two right all the numbers it will be have in horizontal axis what for this problem yeah. Codomain. See, this is all codomain only. No, this is all codomain. Now, if we find the range, then only we will decide if range is equal to codomain or not. If range is equal to codomain, what type of function it is? And it can be either onto function or one one onto function, right? Because if a function is one one onto, that means it is also onto function. It has to be a onto function. In that case, range will be equal to your what? Four domain. Okay, let's see some of the real value functions. So this is how we represent the function. So this is called y is equal to f of x. Why I'm writing like this? Now f of x can be anything. Okay, let's uh, look at some of the examples of function. Suppose if I'm writing a function like f of x, that means f of x we uh, read it as function of x. Okay, so let's write f x f of x is equal to x square plus one. Okay, now, so this is a function. It's 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 a defined function. Now we have to. Now can you guys write down what is f of one? What is f of one? That means instead of x, you will just substitute one. Okay, and this also we write as y is equal to yeah. Anyone? Any doubt? That's how we represent a function, a real value or real variable function. That that's what this is. Okay. For these type of functions, we need to find the range and domain. Okay. For most important thing is domain. For before you find range, first you have to find the domain of a function. Now there will be certain criteria how and uh, certain rules will be there how to find a what domain and range of a function. So let's study that. This is just I'm giving you an example. Okay, that's how we write a function. That's how we write a yeah. You are raising your hand, right? Yeah, you. What it is called? Seven. But we we were here for how how much time? One hour. Okay. Shall we see one or one or two examples? See, in tomorrow's class, mostly we'll be uh, do, finding the domain and range of the function. Okay. Last class, I have plotted sine function and cosine function. Right? Uh, do you guys know how to do it? Did you anybody went to their home and saw why sine is like this? Anybody googled or did any any kind of thing? No, no one, right? No one. No. Very good. Okay. So if I'm writing y is equal to, ah, leave it. You don't have any curiosity why sine was like that and cos was like that, huh? None of you. I'm I'm a little surprised by this. Either either I was not clear, I was not clear in that while while doing sine and cosine. No, it 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 is possible. Please don't be shy, so that I can change my technique also. Right? I cannot be you know going in my pace or my understanding that you guys everyone is understanding what I am saying. So you should be telling me if there is yeah, an any gap or any uh, misunderstanding or anything like that, okay? Because understanding is very important and doing assignment as well. Okay, so uh, okay, no no issues. Tomorrow we are going to start different types of real variable functions. Okay. 
yes. the next topic will be mostly will be studying this stuff yeah biology you have any doubt what, what you continuously keep you know poking inside her ear what is that all about huh No, 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 no. It's not for just right angle track. Who said that? In the standard, you are studying that. Who said that? It can be defined with the help of a right angle track. See, that's one way to put it, right? It's not defined because of a right angle track. It can be explained with the help of a right angle track. We'll study that. Sine, cosmos. You have what? You have got like four or five values. Of all the functions, so in this um, next chapter, I think trigonometry. Third chapter is trigonometry, right? So in that chapter, we'll be studying with the different types of uh, trigonometric functions. See, all the functions that we are studying, functions are like operators, like positive plus minus logarithmic function, everything. So in functions, mostly I want to cover everything in functions. Why? Because it will help you in other chapters also. And also, yeah, I know time is up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. See. It will help you in uh, in mathematics as well as in physics. Right now you are studying physics and in eleventh standard physics. So I think in the beginning, uh, Raga must have explained you all different types of functions. Did it? Mathematical functions he explained, right? No. So you directly started from which chapter? Huh? Motions. <laughs> Units and measures. You have finished that chapter. Right? Very small chapter. Anyway, uh, so we'll tomorrow we'll study real variable functions, and we'll study all the real variable functions. We'll try to study all the, and we we'll, we won't do any revision like today, but it was necessary today, right? Because I was also confused. Today. So thank you for that. Thank you for your help, and we'll end up today and get out fast. How thank many you, of sir. you are going to Uber and Roda? Okay, you guys are also there. No, sometimes I forgot. I forget that you guys are also there online because I'm not able to see you guys. Okay, so tomorrow we'll be studying real variable function. Just go through whatever we have studied in function as of now. Okay, functions functions are really important. Relation and function it's very very important in your twelfth standard also or any competitive exam you are going to take. First concept you will be defining is functions. Okay, without function you won't be able to understand differentiability. You won't be able to understand continuity, differentiation, integration, differential equations, complete calculus. Okay. So we'll, that's why I, I'm forcing you to study this type of function. Uh, in NCRT, do we have this uh, different, all these four types of sets of functions? We have no? That one, 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 two function, on two function, these are not covered in NCRT? Okay. A is there? 12 standard. Anyway, we have covered it now uh, here itself, right? So hopefully you guys. Started. Anyway. Okay, go, go. Yeah, it's already 8 o'clock. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much, guys who are online. Okay, those who are thank online, you, do you have any doubt or anything that uh, we have missed out? No doubt, sir. All clear? For me, all just clear, sir. Through, yeah, just go through uh, all the four types of functions and uh, let me know if I have also made any mistake, okay? Yes, sir. And just study a little bit about real variable functions. Not okay, just sir. to have a glance at it. Okay. Okay, bye. All of you get out. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Do you have any doubts? I I miss. You want to ask him
Thank <laughs> you. 